Hey guys, here we are with Miss Carly Whittington. We're going to show you the Munchkin makeup for the girls. And then we're going to do our hair next, but we're going to sit here and go through the foundation and everything and how to apply it and what products to use and whatnot. Now there are going to be things that are optional, but the list that you get, you were received um, in your class is what you really, it's mandatory to have on their face and some other stuff that will be kind of help to apply it better. Um, generally what I use is a face primer. For their makeup, it helps them stick, and now this is optional, but it helps the makeup stick better, especially when they get flushed and sweat sweat under you know under these bright lights. So I use a face primer. It comes out green a little bit. So you just want to apply that through. Pretty much you want to focus on their cheeks because that's where they really get flushed. Okay. And then next you want to go with the foundation. Generally you want to go with like a little bit of a shade dark or something because of the lights and they get washed out and they look like ghosts. So you want to make sure you go a little bit darker than their face color. So probably moms, what you have is probably you know, a little bit darker than what they would normally wear. Now you don't want to go too dark. You don't want to look like a Oompa Loompa, but nice and that. Now it's important to make sure that you blend this because on stage it will really show if they have any lines or anything. So you really want to make sure that you blend it. Especially along the hairline, just push it right up into the hairline and chin up. And make sure you bring it down the chin and everything. Okay. Next, this is optional, but what you want to use um, is if you have um, an eyeshadow primer. It helps keep the eyeshadow and the eyeliner, especially in, because they are young, their eyes tend to water a lot because they're not used to wearing the makeup. It kind of helps keep it on if you have it. Just a little dab and rub it in. Okay. Next, you want to go for a more cream base. That will be your base for your eyeshadow. You want to make sure you get it all the way on the lid and bring it up a little bit behind it be a nice space and then we'll come right through with another color darker. Then you're going to come through with a little bit of a brown color. Uh, you want to make sure it's not too dark for their eyes so you have to play around here to make sure whatever brown you choose is not very dark. But you want to hit right along close to You want to hit right around the crease of their eye. You want to drag it down. As you can see it's a little bit too light for her so then you want to pull it through with a darker color to make sure you really get it. And because this will define their eyes, it has some definition on the stage. You're going to pull it all the way across from the crease. There we go. Alright, so that will give you a nice base in the outline so that way you don't put too much. You always can add more, but you can't take away from makeup. Um, this thing might come through a little bit darker color just to give them a little bit more definition. Please. Because this is on stage, so sometimes you have to be a little bit bigger on stage. Oops, sorry, girl. There we go. Alright, next you're going to come through with a white. Um, and you're going to do the white right along the eyebrow. Make sure it's a nice bright white. And you're going to go right along the line of the eyebrow. Right there. Eyeliner. This can be the hardest part for the kids to do. They bing a lot and they start tearing up. Okay, we're turning to me. Now what I do is just like how you put it on yourself, you pull it on the corner just like that and that way you get right close. And it's okay if they blink. And um, it's not it's best not to do one sweep along just because they do blink so much and they're not used to it. So it's best to more start at the side. So you want to pull right along the ash line and I start right by there. Start out light first, and then if you make a mistake, you can fix it then. There we go. Okay. Coming up. 
But I guess you see how it's just right along her eye, eyelash line. In a straight line, just start kind of, don't do one sweep. All right, then look up. And this is the tricky part. I'm going to pull down their eye and right along the eyelash. Sometimes this can be the most difficult part. Right there with the water line and their ash, lash line. Very good, Miss Curly. Wasn't that bad? Now, if you have a lot of trouble with them getting their bottom eyeliner on, which some of them really do struggle with it, another a cheat to do it is you take a slanted brush, it's a little really tiny, and you get black eyeshadow. And this also can help if you are too thin or if you've made any mistakes with it. And then you can do it on the top and bottom. Like, look up first. And you can come through with the eyeshadow, and that will be easier a little bit, too. And plus it helps because the bottom is really hard to do to get that smooth line in the bottom. If you come back through with it, with a black eyeshadow, it can help you there. And you can do the same up top. This. You just pull it, just so if anything's not even, you can even it out right there. It's just a little way to help them a little bit. Good. So it kind of can fix any mistakes you've made. So after you've done that, you want to come back through with the brown a little bit that you put on, because I'm sure by that time we've messed up by the watering, and make sure that it's really defined right there. Very good. And then you can come through with another, you know, slanted brush a little bit, or a tinier thin brush. will work just fine. And we can grab the brown again. And we look up. And we get right underneath their lash line, right below the liner. And do the brown right there. Not too much, but this will help give them a little bit more definition on stage. Because their eyes do tend to get sunken in on stage and everything. And with the shadows, with light and stuff, it just helps give it a little bit more. Then you want to take a white again. And dab it in right in the corner of the eye. Just give a little pop of brightness right there. Alright, next to mascara. Everybody's mm -hmm. Okay, the mascara can be the trickiest part. And it's okay if they blink, you have to just keep, you have to keep the steady hand when you're doing it. Okay? Alright, so what you generally want to tell us you want to get on their, their level for this, and you want to tell them to look at your shoulder. Okay? So look at my shoulder. Okay. You just kind of go up, and if you mess up like I have, so it's gotten a little bit up here, you can come back through with eyeshadow and fix it. So it's not that big of a deal. Very good. Let's go to the side. If you do have an eyelash curler and they don't hesitate that much to you doing it, you can do an eyelash curler too. That would be kind of easier to get makeup on. That's good. So as you see, we have some mascara on the rest of our face, our eyes. So just come through with the, that cream again and just kind of touch it up and go away. If you rub a little bit, get it away. Miss Carly, you There you go, we need to fix your white a little bit again. There you go. I know you're just dying to see. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then you would take a little bit of brown, a little bit of the shade color of their eyebrows, and just give them a little bit more. Definition just right along the brow. Okay. Next is concealer, so we can clean up underneath the eye. And if they have any loose makeup underneath, brush it away. See that mascara on your nose? <laughs> there you go. Alright. And then next you're going to come through with concealer. Okay. And just dab right underneath your eye. Much better. You also want to make sure you dab right around the nostrils because they tend to get red when they're dancing. Mine do at least. Very nice. 
Okay. And if you have it, this is an optional, but it's nice to finish it off if you have this. Um, it's like set powder. You may come through and it kind of just finish it off and give it, you know, in case there's any like streaks or anything you've missed. If you have it, you can use it. If not, it's cool. You're sure some good. And push it into the hairline. And then I have a more condensed pressed powder. Again, this is optional if you want to use it. But this helps just brighten up around their eyes if you put it down around. It has, wherever you put your concealer, if you use this, that's where you want to put this, if you've used a concealer. It helps it make it a little bit like glow and makes their eyes stand out a little bit more. Okay. on top just gives them that nice shine that they like. They like to shine these parts. Okay. Oops, I There we go. Okay. So what you really need to have is their foundation, their eyeshadow, eyeliner and mascara, the pink lip liner, and pink lipstick. Everything else that you saw that if I mentioned it, it's of course optional. And of course they need one last thing. And that is blush. Got a nice great pink blush. Now blush is hard for me to put on other people. I struggle with it, but it's not like this. You want the mascara, eyeliner, the cream, and the brown, the white eyeshadow, the pink lipstick and liner, and the blush. And that's what you'll need to do to get you ready for a beauty munchkin.